Natalie Schotter, a 37-year-old mother of three, was found dead in Southall Park in Ealing on the 17th of July 2021 after being attacked and allegedly sexually assaulted. It's said that Natalie could still be alive today had police not failed to help her themselves or inform colleagues of a report from a member of the public about Natalie's welfare. Now, Dr. Kaz Schotter Wheatman has spoken out, that's Natalie's mum, saying that the Metropolitan Police were derelict in their duties and branded their decision not to help Natalie as a catastrophic system failure. Dr. Kaz Schotter Wheatman said that if the police had helped her, Natalie might still be alive and said that she recently found out that a female investigator advised the officers to go through misconduct proceedings but a senior officer denied the proceedings, stating that the officers involved would literally only have to go through an unsatisfactory performance procedure. Basically, this is where their learning and additional training policy comes in, rather than actually holding them to account. Dr. Schotter Wheatman has now written to Sir Mark Rowley, the latest head of the Metropolitan Police, sharing her disgust. In her letter, she told Rowley that we know the two police officers were investigated internally by the Directorate of Professional Standards of the Metropolitan Police. Much to the family's dismay. We have in the last week been given their conclusion, which quite frankly is appalling and an absolute insult. The officers will not face misconduct proceedings. Dr Schotter Wheatman has already involved the IOPC in the hope to overturn the decision from the Met. Uh, not to deal with the officers who failed her daughter and asked for an explanation of how the Met came to the decision not to carry out misconduct proceedings. Natalie Schotter was alone at night and even after a report from a member of the public, the officers informed of this concern for welfare decided to ignore the report, which Dr Schotter Wheatman believes is why Natalie died due to not being helped when there was an opportunity to. Dr. Schotter Wheatman said, my question is, why didn't at least one of them go to help a lone female late at night in the park? Why did they not ask a unit to be dispatched if they couldn't help? Why did they not document these events? They didn't log a police report. It is more than sickening. They didn't tell a senior police officer either. What they did was despicable. She was out of sight and mind. They drove off. She said Natalie's children, who are aged 3, 16 and 17, are simply trying to manage day by day, as she noted her daughter had been incredibly close to her children, bringing them up on her own for a significant period of time. Andrea Simon, director of the End Violence Against Women Coalition, said, At the heart of this is a failure to protect a vulnerable woman. We are told that tackling violence against women and girls is a priority, but we have yet to see actions taken by the criminal justice system result in meaningful change for victims and their families. More than 600 officers are being investigated by the Met for misconduct and criminality. This is a shocking rap sheet. But investigations into cases of police misconduct and police perpetrated abuse are nowhere near good enough and too often allow officers to evade accountability. We need, to root, we need root and branch reform of the way we deal with misconduct, vetting, ethics and standards in all our police forces. A spokesperson for the Metropolitan Police said, The evening before Natalie was found dead, two officers on duty in the local area were approached and spoken to by friends of hers who had been with her in the park and was concerned she seemed unwell. The officers who were dealing with another incident at the time did not enter the park or take further actions following the conversation. They said an investigation by the Metropolitan Police's Director of Professional Standards discovered they should be referred to the unsatisfactory performance procedure, but that their actions did not amount to misconduct. To be honest, with all this hype about police wanting to protect women and girls recently, and with the Met being the most highlighted police force in the country over incidents involving women, such as Nicole Smallman and Bibber Henry, Sarah Avrard, the incredible list of offences that David Carrick carried out, and those are just the Metropolitan Police officers, and don't include the number of women fouled by police who have been victims from other members of the public, you would think that the police would take this extremely seriously, but instead think that the failure of basic duties such as safeguarding the public, which is one of the core principles of being a police constable, can sufficiently be dealt with by, the, by offering those who ignored the report of concern for welfare with some additional training. 
it's such a shame that the police place such a low value on the life of a member of the public, but of course, if it was one of their own, they'd pull out all the stops. I would say it needs nipping in the bud, but the problem has way past the bud stage and is now already in full bloom. This is going to be much, much harder to come back from for the Metropolitan Police. And I still think that the organisation needs to be disbanded and started again.